Hey everyone, Jennifer Lee Chan, and thanks for tuning in and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Um, just want to talk a little bit about what it means for Christian McCaffrey to have this calf strain, Achilles strain. Is there concern? I think now, yes, there is a little bit more concern. I admit I was one of the people that thought he was going to play on week one and it didn't feel right on game day. And so he didn't. Um, Kyle Shanahan spoke yesterday and kind of said that if it was a playoff game, Christian McCaffrey would have played. And I think that that is a good sign. So if it was a playoff game, obviously it wasn't Christian McCaffrey would have played. So it is at least to the point where he could push himself through a performance if need to, but that also isn't great. Uh, the one thing that does concern me is the fact that Dre Greenlaw dealt with Achilles tendonitis a lot during the end of the 2023 season and what happened in that Super Bowl game, pushing off his foot just to run onto the field, snapped his Achilles. So if there was any sort of tendonitis with the Achilles, not a great sign, but you know there are parallels there, but also... Dre Greenlaw got healthy enough to play. Um, and oddly for Dre Greenlaw, the Achilles that snapped is not the Achilles that was bothering him during the end of the season. So it, note that the Achilles, again, that snapped during the Super Bowl for Dre Greenlaw was not the one that was bothering him that put him on the injury report up to the Super Bowl. Now, Christian McCaffrey is dealing again with calf tightness, Achilles tendonitis. So there could be a concern. Um, I did talk to a former football player, and this is really interesting as well, that he ruptured his Achilles during his playing years, but it was also the opposite one. And then the one that was giving him all the trouble through rest and recovery of his opposite Achilles, the one that was giving him trouble the whole time was better. Um, so Achilles are, uh, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but it is really interesting how that has affected. I haven't asked Dre Greenlaw. We haven't been able to talk to him because he's still on the injury list. And so we're not allowed to talk to injured players. Um, so it'll be interesting to see once we're able to talk to Dre Greenlaw, if his opposite leg, the one that was bothering him throughout the season, the 2023 season is feeling better now. So, uh, yeah, some concern with Christian McCaffrey and his health, uh, what Kyle Shanahan actually says, um, said, because it is, it was the same leg that it, it's similar to what bothered him in week 17 of last year. This is what Kyle Shanahan said. Yes, I believe they are similar. I know it was a calf then, it's a calf now. You guys could ask Christian more on that. Definitely believe it was, if it was a playoff game, he would have played, but it's not just the calf, it's the Achilles and the Achilles tendonitis and that stuff comes and goes. When it's acting up, it's something that you've got to be very careful about. Christian's very diligent about that stuff. And if it was a playoff game, he made it very clear to me he believed he could go. But when you hear that type of stuff and it's not a playoff game and it's week one, especially when you're dealing with the lower body extremities like that, it was a tough decision. But hearing all the words and stuff in the long run, it made it easy. And you know what else made it easy was Jordan Mason. Jordan Mason came out and they had a tough start that first three and out. But once they got it moving, they really kept it moving. I mean, career day for Jordan Mason, incredibly happy for him. 28 carries, 147 yards, and a touchdown. And um, I also want to talk about what happened, why he was a little prickly after the game with the Four Nairs media, everyone that was assembled in the press conference room. Apparently, on the post-game show on the national broadcast, he told Laura Rutledge that he was told that he was going to start on Friday. So the conflict there is that Christian McCaffrey was on the injury list. He was listed as questionable for a game status. But if he knew that Christian McCaffrey was out on Friday, it should have been listed as him being out for game status. So I think there was a little confusion that Jordan Mason maybe was told that he was going to have a larger role to be ready to go if they needed him to go. And it kind of came out maybe wrong, but also um, he could have been warned that that was not a great thing before he came into the press conference because, of course, everyone wanted to ask him, hey, when did you find out? How did you know it was such a great performance? I mean, I think those are natural questions to happen. Um, so it's unfortunate that, you know, the best day of his career 
kind of was overshadowed by that little kind of gaffe there. But um, hopefully we talked to Jordan Mason this week and he's happier. And uh, I know his mom was in attendance, his uh, the mother of his son and his son were at the game. So hopefully it ended up being a great night for Jordan Mason, um, not overshadowed by what happened with the media. So I know he's a little prickly in his press conference, but hopefully uh, everything is better. So I mean, great game for him. Great game for Dominic Pooney. Um, I know we've talked about this a little bit uh, in my post-game recap, but I think looking forward, if Christian McCaffrey is not able to go, obviously J.P. Mason is a great guy to step in in his place. And I think the 49ers don't really have too much to worry about there. I think what the 49ers really want to get on track in the Minnesota game is the connection between Brock Purdy and Brandon Ayuk. And I think it's only going to get better with practice. Um, we'll see it on Wednesday and Thursday, Friday, just a quick practice. Um, so definitely keep your ears to the ground for our, all of our information about Brandon Ayuk and Brock Purdy. Now, now that the season has started though, we only see individual drills. We are not allowed to stay on the field for 11 on 11. So, um, We'll only see a little bit of practice individuals, but uh, we'll definitely keep you posted of what's happening on the field. But um, yeah, a little bit of concern for Christian McCaffrey, but JP Mason is a obviously a guy who can step in and really push the team down the field, push the offense down the field. Um, but we'll have more updates coming soon. Um, other than that, no other injuries from the game. Juwan Jennings with the ankle is day-to-day. Aaron Banks with a calf contusion day to day as well. I expect those two to be able to play on Sunday. I would think so. Um, a couple guys making their way back. Um, let's see. Let me get back to that. Um, Kyle Shanahan said, hopefully another good week. Christian's day to day with the calf Achilles, Uter Gross Matos and D Winters. They've got a big day on Tuesday. Um, they're going to get tested with their um, Uter Gross Matos' knee and D Winters' ankle. There's a chance they can practice this week. Um, for Teleno Hufunga, he also could be making his way back into practice as well. So we'll get more news on that. Kyle Shanahan will speak today, Wednesday, and then we have everybody else on Thursday. Short week today, um, quick practice before they head out to Minnesota. Stay tuned for more updates and please subscribe. Talk to you soon.